There's an ant on my bed. Ew, move, bitch. Oh, I can't fuck with them. Mm -mm. I can't. Uh -uh, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I'm trying to be, like, pro animals and shit, but nah, bitch, you gotta go. Like, bye. Uh-uh, bitch. You better fucking move. Uh-uh. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry if I offended anybody. <laughs> I'm sorry if I triggered anybody. I just, I can't deal with insects. I'm so sorry. Like, you know, I don't believe in killing the animals. <laughs> Fuck them bitches. <laughs> they need to go. Like, they keep popping up everywhere, especially since summer started. Like, they won't stop. I'm so angry. So as you can see by the title, yes, I did get suspended for making a burn book in middle school. No, this is not clickbait. By the way, just wanted to state before I even get into this video that this is just, like, how I was. And, you know, this is, like, a middle school story obviously I've grown a lot more I don't condone this kind of stuff now I've grown a lot as a person but just know that this is an old story so it doesn't like say anything about like how I am as a person now I just want to point that out because I don't want people to think that like I'm out here saying yeah make a burn book about bitches that do you wrong because it's not like really the good thing to do it's not the mature thing to do so like you know be, be a good kid be, be a good kid do better do better than I did that's all that's all I gotta say this story all starts with me moving to a new school. I had not known any of the people here, I'll tell you this much. I went to an elementary school and towards the end of it, I kind of became popular. This probably sounds so fucking stupid. Like how the fuck are you popular in elementary school? It's because I bought a whole bunch of fucking candy and gave it to everybody and everyone loved me because I, you know, I was that bitch. So yes, I was sort of popping in elementary school towards the end, which is going to play a huge part in the next story time that I'm going to tell, which I'm not going to say anything about, but it's like fucking wild. And it's just about my childhood revenge, like bully story. I'll do that one like right after this one, if you guys want. But anyway, so I had to move to this brand new fucking school and I was really sad and really upset about it because I was finally for the first time in elementary school popping and I wanted to like continue that like throughout middle school you know not that being popular matters by the way just to put that out there but this was like I was in fucking middle school you know everyone's trying to find themselves like everyone wants to be accepted in middle school like that's that's just that's just how it is so I was like not happy about the fact that I had to move to a brand new school with bitches that I didn't fucking know and let me tell you something the fucking bitches at that school were terrible and <laughs> I'm like, I could like rant about it. Like, I was just so mad. It's just, it was bad. Like, the people there hated my fucking guts. I didn't do anything to them to deserve the hate. They just didn't fucking like me. They treated me like shit. This school was one of those kind of schools where you have to prove yourself, especially like getting thrown into this like middle school. You had to prove yourself and people wanted like to know not to fuck with them. So what they would do is they'd fuck with other people, which is terrible. It's fucking terrible. And then if somebody like stood up for themselves, then they'd leave them alone. But if like somebody didn't stand up for themselves, then they would keep fucking with them, keep fucking with them, keep picking with them. Basically being little fucking bullies. And a whole bunch of them people watch my channel now and like say they want to be friends with me. But like, fuck you, bitch. Don't fucking be friends with me. Bye bye, bitch. You're terrible. The fact that you tried to treat me badly just because I wanted to be nice to you, fuck you. But anyway, I got my fucking revenge, as you're going to see in this video. When I moved to this new school, I had a strategy in mind. <laughs> At 11 years old, I had a whole strategy on how I was going to go into this new school. I wasn't going to say shit to anybody. That, this is so terrible. I'm so, like, dramatic. So when they told me that I had to, like, move to this new school, I was, this is what I said in my mind. I was like, okay, fuck you then. You want me to move to a new school that I don't know any bitches? Fine. I'm going to be, like, that bitch. Like, I'm not going to say shit. Like, when you're mad at somebody and you, like, let them know, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to do my work and I'm going to go home every single day and be miserable because fuck this shit. Like, my emo ass, like, sixth grade ass. <laughs> my strategy was to not say shit to anybody and if I made friends, cool, here and there. But, like, I wasn't fucking with it. I didn't even want to deal with it. So people would keep fucking with me because I was silent and because I would, like, focus on my grades. And I, like, got really, really good grades. So people would just always fuck with me all the time because they'd be, like, either trying to, like, copy my shit, which I don't fuck with, bitch. Do your own work. Don't copy mine. And also, it would either be like that or it would be that they would, like, just want to pick it with me because I look like I was weak or whatever like that. So in the beginning, I didn't snap on them. And this is like a kind of person that I am. I actually had a long ass conversation last night with somebody about this because this is the kind of person that I am. I am nice to you when you're nice to me. And if you are like a bitch to me, like the first couple times, I will be nice to you. I'll like let it go. A lot of times people like to take that for weakness, like me as a person, because I let them do it for a second. But as soon as you cross that fucking line with me and you do it so many damn times, honey, that's when you really done fucked up. I'm a Gemini bitch. I have two fucking sides, bitch. Don't fuck with the wrong one because when you get it, you don't like it. You ain't gonna like it, girl. I'm a Gemini. You might like me because I'm nice because you're nice to me. But when you're a bitch to me, bitch, I will be a bitch to you. Moral of the fucking story, don't fuck with a Gemini. Gemini will fuck your life up. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. I'm sorry, I'm a nice person, I'm a nice person. This probably just depicts me to like look like the worst person in the world. But anyway, they kept picking on me, picking on me, picking on me, picking on me. And nowadays, like knowing how I am now, I probably would have like said some shit. I'd have been like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? But back during that time, I was so introverted. And it's weird because I'm so not that way now. Like, I'm extra, extra read all about me, bitch. Like, you watch my videos. Like, I'm loud as fuck. But back then, I was so introverted and I held everything in. So every single day, like that they'd fuck with me, I wouldn't say shit. I would just let them fuck with me while I was in middle school. This is so bad, guys. Every single day, I would let them fuck with me. And then eventually, I got tired of it. I got tired of that shit. So do you know what I did? I went and wrote a fucking burn book on these hoes, okay? I wrote a fucking burn book. I wrote the fucking alphabet, and I put every single bitch that I didn't fuck with under every single letter that was in the alphabet in that book. And I would write how I felt about them hoes in the book. For instance, let's say that Alex was a bitch to me and treated me like shit. I'd be like, fuck you, Alex. You're an insecure little hoe. How dare you talk shit about me? You constantly want to talk about me, bitch, and your breath fucking stinks. Benjamin, you're a terrible person. You're an insecure little bitch. You have to pick on people that are, like, smaller than you to make yourself feel good because you got a six-inch dick. Not a six-inch, sorry, because you got a five-inch little dick. Not even five-inch, bitch, no, because you got a three-inch fucking dick, bitch. That's why you feel like you got to pick on people that are smaller than you because you're a fucking small little fucking micro-penis-ass bitch. I was letting out, bitch. Like, I was fucking coming for them. Like, I was Twitter fingers. Like, you know how bitches be having Twitter fingers? Nah, bitch, I had that fucking pen to that paper and I was running it. I was running it, honey. I was running it with this burn book. So now that you have some examples of, like, what I put in the book, there was this girl, I'm not gonna say her name, her name started with a D, we're gonna call her Desiree, honestly, let's just call her Desiree, that's actually kinda close to her real name. But anyway, she found this book one time when I was like at breakfast in the morning, and I was sitting down writing it, and she found it. She was such a snake, like she tried to act like she was my friend, like she wanted to help me. So like she was like, can I read the book? Can I read it? And I was like, sure, you can read the book, like whatever, like, and she kinda just like snatched it with her rude fucking ass from me. And started reading it and like looking about the people and, like because I didn't like hide their names like I wrote their real fucking names in the book so she was like oh fuck like like she seemed like she was like getting with it like do you know how bitches like want to like cheer you on or try to make it seem like they're into it like when people get into arguments she's like oh damn no like just being fucking annoying as hell so that's like how she was being too so she was like can I like read it like I want to read it like during my other class or whatever so I was like fine you can read it because I had Girl, I still got trust issues because of her. I still have trust issues because of her. So I let her read the book. She was like going through it, like reading it, which by the way, she could have been a lot worse. Like she could have told every single person that was in the book that I wrote it about them, but she didn't. She just read it and you know what she did after? She gave it to the fucking principal. Fuck you, bitch. Don't you know that snitches get stitches, bitch? Fuck you. So I had to go to the office. And I tried to tell the principal before, by the way, just letting you know, like, to be honest, I was a little bit of a snitch back then, too. I tried to tell them that, like, these kids kept fucking with me, and I was trying to be nice about it, and I was, like, being good, and I was being a good kid, and, like, I got really good grades. And everybody knew me. Like, all the teachers liked me, because even though I was quiet, they liked that I still did my work, and I paid attention, and I was, like, active, and I volunteered in class. I raised my hand. So all the teachers really did like me, especially when I was in middle school, because of how good of a student I was, and because I didn't cause any trouble, and because I wasn't about that drama. And bitches would just want to keep fucking with me. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, I had to kill the ant. He was just, like, squirming away, and I felt bad. I wanted to put him out of his misery. Anyway, continuing the story. So I had to explain to this principal who like really liked me. She really, really liked me. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like they kept picky with me. Like I just had to like let it out. Cause that was my like way of like expressing things back then. Obviously now I would have been like, listen, stop fucking with me, dude. Like I probably would have like said something to them. But I was a lot different when I was younger. I was more passive aggressive about this shit. And I was new to the school. I didn't know any of these people. And I didn't want to like have problems with people as soon as I go to a new school. This one I was in the sixth grade and I said a lot of shit. Like, I said so many bad things, too, that she just, like, she suspended me. Like, she told me that I had to, like, get suspended. And I started bawling my eyes out because I had never been suspended ever in my life. I was like, no, please. Like, I was like, it was so fucking dramatic. Please don't suspend me. <laughs> like, I didn't want to get suspended. I was crying so hard. I knew I would get in so much trouble. And I was just like, no, please don't suspend me, please. Because I wanted to be a good kid, like I was a good kid and I didn't want to get in trouble because of that. And I actually felt more like upset at myself because I felt like I let myself down 
by feeding into them like I should have just been the bigger person I should have just like ignored it or like something else so I felt bad because I had stooped to their low I was being petty as fuck like I made a fucking burn book about these bitches so I obviously wasn't being the better student I was being a bad student <laughs> but because I never got into trouble before that time and because I was a good student this is what the principal did do for me which I love her and I appreciate her for it she was like I understand you're a good student and everyone like does stuff that's messed up but I'm gonna have to suspend you like it's just part of policy like we have to suspend you but I'm gonna give you two days which honestly two days is not fucking shit like that's a vacation that's a fucking weekend like bitch I should have been happy but because like I never got suspended before like I just didn't like the fact that, that was on my record because even from middle school from sixth grade going up I like had college like set for my future like I was like I need to go to college like I need to have really good grades I need to be valedictorian but I guess the moral of the story is like I know there are people that watch me that are younger that might be in middle school that might be in high school still dealing with like bullies dealing with like terrible people I guess the moral of the story is don't stoop to a low the best thing to do is stand up for yourself um, that doesn't mean you have to fight anybody, like, use your words, like, <laughs> I have this new saying, I don't fight with my fists, I fight with my attorneys, like, fight with your fucking attorneys, honey, fight with your attorneys. Be the bigger person, like, I believe in you guys so much, and I know that it's hard sometimes, and bitches really try it, bitches really fucking try it, trust me, I know. I was in middle school, I was in high school, I had to deal with them for all these fucking years, I'm finally free away from these bitches. I am gonna be, like, that big brother for you, and be like, no. You're better than that. You do better. I love y'all so much. I care about y'all so much. And I don't want to see you guys, you know, hurt. I don't want to see you guys, like, ruining your future because of some other people. So that's it. Like, there is a, there is a lesson to this story. As much as I was, like, fucked up for this, you know, I learned from it now. And obviously, I would handle situations a lot different now being older. You know, everything happens for a reason. You're supposed to learn something from it. So I hope that you guys got something from this story time, even though it's just me being a fucking hot mess. Thank you so much for being a part of my life. Thank you for being a part of my family. Thank you for giving me this chance. I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm going to post all the fucking time. Now, I promise you I'm going to be on my shit. You guys deserve content, and you guys have stuck with me all this fucking time. I, I owe you guys. I owe you guys. You guys are the reason why I'm happy. You guys are the reason why I get to do all these really crazy like things that I've dreamed of doing my entire life now. And the only reason I get to do them is because of you. So thank you. And yeah, that is the end of this story time. You're gonna get another video super fucking soon, so be on the lookout. Thank you guys so much again for watching this, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. <laughs>